I'm going to be talking about the first Doctor Who serial from 1963, An Unearthly Child. So I have just started watching Classic Who. I got Britbox the other day and I had a little look on that. On there. So I had a little look, watched the first couple episodes and I thought they were really good. So I'm going to start doing more classic Doctor Who review videos. So I thought I would do them serial by serial instead of individual episodes because not all of the episodes I have a whole lot to talk about but I'm gonna go and talk about characters so we start with the teacher so we start with meeting Ian and Barbara and I really like the introduction and the way we kind of we go to the school first and we're not kind of first meeting the doctor but it actually takes quite a lot of time during the first episode until we meet the doctor because we hear that the um, Barbara is concerned about Susan who is our kind of main kind of companion she's the granddaughter of the first doctor and they basically go to her house to investigate and they see that it's a junkyard and they're really confused and sh they see her going into the TARDIS and then they then meet the first doctor and I like and obviously it's Coal Hill School which is featured many more times in Doctor Who in New Who many times and maybe in classic who I don't know we'll see but I really liked that and their kind of argument with doctor about what's going to happen was fun and kind of when he when they were going to the TARDIS and I really liked seeing the first people's reactions to the TARDIS ever that was really really fun and I do I like the way their characters kind of progress because it does take quite a bit of time for Ian to realize that this is a box that does travel in time and space and it takes him quite a while to get used to that but i like that i like that it takes him a while i like that he just doesn't accept it straight away because he's not going to accept it straight away is he they all get into the tardis and then they go on an adventure and they end up basically in the prehistoric times i thought that was really cool and i liked seeing all the cave people or their group was now and I think my favourite episode still is An Unearthly Child. My ranking probably would be episode one, episode three, episode four, episode two. I didn't, so I didn't really like episode two. I thought it was, I thought it was quite boring. The Cave of Skulls was nice, but they kind of were kind of just like wandering around and it just, yeah and cow when he kind of they all made fire the forest of fear was nice because i really liked the scene when they were kind of all running around and trying to escape and when they went back was nice but i think the fire maker was also really good now when they you could definitely i was really not sure how they were going to get back because there was only a couple minutes left and they needed to get back but it definitely one of my things that I definitely struggled with in some of New Who is the fact that we kind of just, it all gets resolved very quickly, but I like the fact that it took four episodes for all this to happen. And it's a real, it does feel like an ended story. And a little bit of a cliffhanger, I guess, is that the radiation in the TARDIS goes into a danger zone as the, Susan looks away from it and they all go and get changed. And I guess they're gonna try and go back to Earth. But I do believe the next episode is a Dalek episode, which is going to be interesting. I want to, I want to know what they're going to do because it's the first Dalek episode. I re I did like the Doctor. I don't know how I feel about the first Doctor. I haven't really got a solid opinion because, obviously, I've seen him in Twice Upon a Time, and now I've seen him here. Honestly, at the moment, I think I probably prefer David Bradley's performance in Twice Upon a Time. But you know what? We'll see. He's quite cynical. I think I like that. But yeah, I don't think I have much more to say on this episode. Like, it was good. It was fun. What I would do is I'm probably going to do like a ranking of all the serials, not individual episodes, just because I think I will lose track of all the episodes. But I think overall it was a good episode. Now, compared to New Who, obviously, for me personally, it wasn't great. But... I'm looking forward and I definitely think it's going to improve. So whenever I finish watching the Daleks, I'll be back to do a classic Who review. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It was, this series was really fun and yeah.
I'll see you guys soon. Bye.